Steamboat Geyser, Kalawea, and Mount Etna, September 2025. As September 2025 unfolds, Earth has once again reminded humanity of its restless geological heart. From the boiling geyser basins of Yellowstone to the lava fountains of Hawaii and the towering ash plumes of Sicily's Mount Etna, three very different natural forces have erupted almost in chorus, offering scientists and citizens alike both awe and concern. Yellowstone's Steamboat Geyser, Steam Towers of Uncertainty. In Yellowstone National Park, Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser in the world, has once again thrust itself into the spotlight. Known to launch superheated water and steam up to 300 feet into the sky, Steamboat is an unpredictable spectacle, more volatile than its famous cousin, Old Faithful. Since its reactivation in 2018, after years of silence, Steamboat entered a period of near-constant surprises, erupting dozens of times per year. But in 2025, scientists have noticed subtle changes. The Great Geyser still erupts, but the intervals between major blasts have grown longer, and minor spouts often replace full-scale events. Hydrothermal sensors installed by the USGS capture faint tremors, pressure buildups, and infrasound signals. Yet the data suggests that the eruption storm phase of Steamboat may be tapering off. Still, the unpredictability remains a single shift underground. A clog in the geyser's narrow throat, a sudden surge of heat, or a pulse of groundwater could trigger another towering eruption with no warning. For visitors, each eruption is breathtaking. For geologists, each event is a mystery to be decoded. A window into the volatile balance between Yellowstone's vast magma chamber and its sprawling hydrothermal systems. Lauea, Hawaii, Episode 32, and the Rhythm of Fire. Across the Pacific, on the Big Island of Hawaii, Kalawea Volcano has been staging a fiery performance in a very different style. The most recent summit eruption, officially marked as Episode 32, unfolded dramatically in early September. For 13 hours and 24 minutes, Lava fountains roared inside the Halema Uma'u crater, painting the night sky in shades of orange and red. Molten rock spilled across the crater floor, covering nearly half its southern expanse with fresh lava flows. Scientists at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory tracked the event minute by minute. Instruments recorded a sudden deflation of the summit, the ground subtly sinking as magma drained upward into the eruption site. 
almost immediately after the lava fountain ceased, the ground began to inflate again, showing that magma was rushing back into storage. This inflation cycle is so regular that volcanologists now use it as a clock to anticipate when the next episode may strike. The real key lies in gas pistoning, the waste buildup and release of volcanic gases trapped within the magma. When pressure reaches a critical point, the gas blasts upward, driving lava fountains. Then, when pressure drops, the eruption halts. But the system recharges quickly, which is why scientists believe episode 33 may begin as early as mid to late September. While the eruptions are mostly contained within the summit caldera, they still pose risks. Sulfur dioxide gas drifts downwind, sometimes reducing air quality, while ash particles can irritate eyes and lungs. Episode 27 in the Yet, compared to the devastating flank eruptions of past decades, these summit events are relatively safe, more of a spectacle than a catastrophe. For native Hawaiians, however, they are also a reminder of the living presence of Pele, the volcano goddess, who expresses her power through fire and transformation. Mount Etna, Sicily, Europe's restless giant. Meanwhile in Italy, Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcano, has shown once again why it commands respect. Earlier this year and continuing into late summer, Etna's southeast crater unleashed violent episodes of ash and lava. In its most recent September activity, the volcano combined explosive collapses, ash plumes, and even a pyroclastic flow, a searing avalanche of ash, gas, and rock that raced about two kilometers down the Valle del Leone.